The Mercedes-Benz 190 was an iconic sedan in Nigeria. Back in the days, everybody wants a baby Benz. And who can forget the amazing roles it played in the early Nollywood movies? This was an amazing sedan back in the days. But everything with a beginning surely has an end. The 190 production came to an halt in 1993. And in 1994, came the birth of the C-Class generations we know today. The W202 C-Class started production in 1993 as an entry-level luxury Mercedes-Benz sedan. Mercedes' little way of saying luxury can be affordable. The legendary sedan and wagon produced wide range of W202 class during its production run from 93 to the year 2000. The lineup includes the entry level C180, the C200, C220, C280, the C230 compressor, and the related AMG models, the C36 and C43. But my focus will be mainly on the C180, the C200, and the C230 compressor. Obviously, these are easily the most popular, reliable W202 Mercedes C class in Nigeria and these are the W202 versions you should look out for. Today, we'll be talking about the W202 C-Class and why it's the perfect cheap Mercedes best that you need. This is Oluwa to be Jetro Cars. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. The designers in Mercedes-Benz have done an excellent job in designing cars that stood the test of time. The C-Class may be 29 years old in design, but with good care, it lasts decades to come. Like, this thing looks stunning and great on the road today. Nothing special in the interior design, just a classic 90s Mercedes-Benz interior. This is one of the best driving C-Class on the road today, and the sound of that compressor superchargers is super iconic with a deep basic tone while maintaining the classic engine rumble. The whining and whistling of the superchargers. <laughs> oh my my. The C230 compressor especially is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. It has an understatement look and can easily be mistaken for the more common C200 on the road, only to be differentiated by its rear badge. Acceleration is swift and accurate and this is a really balanced car at high speed, very convenient and suitable for long distance journeys. This is one ride that cannot be cut out. The ride is confidently competent and sweet. The communication between the engine and transmission is extraordinarily remarkable for a 30 year old car. For ride quality matter, this is an easy 90% for me. The C180 is powered by a 1.8 liter inline 4 bulletproof engine, metered to a 4 speed automatic transmission. Power output is pegged at 122 horsepower. While the C230 is running on a supercharged 2.3 liter inline 4 engine, turning up to 190 horsepower and 280 Nm of torque. When it was new, actually, these are the generations of Mercedes Benz that were truly built like tank, and so is their powertrain. Though for a 30 year old car, most of these engines and transmissions have seen better days, but the compressor engine is one of the most reliable engines around. So, swapping out the old one for a new one wouldn't be a bad idea. Despite being a 30 year old car, it has the modern equipment such as cruise control with speed limit function, traction control, ABS with brake assist, power steering, central locking, retractable rear head restraints, air conditioning, air bags, IR key fob unit, 5 speed automatic transmission, and a Becker audio unit with 6 CD changer. Interior wise, as expected from a Mercedes Benz, it comes with soft paddling balanced with some real wood veneer. The instrument cluster is easy to read and the controls are within easy reach as well. The Mercedes-Benz W202 class is a quite reliable car, but that solely depends on the previous owner or perhaps the current owner of the car. If you get a good one that is particularly well maintained and you also continue in the tradition, I tell you, you wouldn't regret it. The powertrain and the drivetrain are solid enough despite its age. Yes, yes, they do have their demons and there are some obvious common problems you should look out for when buying one, especially in Nigerian use. 
issues like corrosion and rust, easy gear bus failure, if not properly maintained. This is a Mercedes. Regular maintenance is highly important. And that compressor engine especially is a really dependable powertrain. If you take good care of it, it will take good care of you. You won't need to worry much about reliability if you get a great example. I repeat, a great example. When buying one of these as a Nigerian used, be sure to carry out the proper checks and inspections. Owning one of these is like owning a Toyota Corolla in Nigeria. <laughs> Maybe not actually, but you wouldn't break your back or break your bank account buying one of these. They are quite cheap to acquire. Parts are overly available and sort of inexpensive. It's still a Mercedes-Benz, so cost of ownership would definitely be a little bit on the high side, unlike owning a Japanese sedan. Fuel economy is good too, like you really get good 4 miles per gallon in one of these. Let's be real, sometimes parts could turn out expensive. Just make sure you don't end up with an overly abused version of this, especially if you are buying a Nigerian used example. Overall, the W202C class is fairly reasonable on owing cost. Despite its advancing age, the W202C class has stood the test of time surprisingly well. If you want a W202C class, I suggest you sort out for the late model of its production cycle run, like the 1999 or 2000 model year. Other ones might require more attention due to its age. My final advice, choose the right car in the right condition and you will have a safe, solid investment and a car that will serve you well for years to come. What's your take? Have you once owned or do you currently drive a W202 Mercedes C-Class? What's your experience like? Feel free to drop a comment and share with us. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Ciao.